Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about some onions in pathology or you can say some onion like structures which are important from the examination point of view. So first of all we will look towards the Ewing sarcoma. So what is Ewing sarcoma? Ewing sarcoma is basically uh, a you can say tumor uh, which can be a bone sarcoma or can be a soft tissue sarcoma. So it usually occur in the young adolescent or the teenager age so what basically happens this is the bone so near the bone the soft tissue extension will be there and it is also known as onion peel reaction as you can see clearly here so this type of uh, structure you might find in the x-ray findings in the patients who are having or who are suffering from having sarcoma so this type of onion skin pattern uh, is a characteristic finding in the having sarcoma so this is the first type of onion look like structure that we have to learn in case of uh, having sarcoma now we will move toward the second structure uh, which usually occurs in patients who are having malignant hypertension so what is this uh, malignant hypertension the persons who are suffering for a long period of time uh, with high blood pressure so in these people what happen uh, due to atherosclerosis long term atherosclerosis there might be involving and uh, the lumen might be involved the arterial lumen the lumen of the artery might be involved and due to which there is fibrinoid necrosis you can see here fibrinoid necrosis and the lumen is narrowed and uh, it is mainly due to uh, there are hyperplastic changes are seen uh, and fibrinoid necrosis also occurs so due to these destructive changes as you can see here hyperplastic intimal arteriolitis in case of malignant hypertension so this is the second type of onion skin lesions that can be seen in case of hyperplastic or malignant arteriolitis which usually occur in the patient of uh, malignant hypertension third we will move towards the chronic inflammatory demyelinating neuropathy so what is this disorder basically uh, it is a rare neurological disorder in which there is inflammation of the nerve root and peripheral endings so due to this chronic inflammation of the nerves there is destruction of the fatty covering which is also known as myelin sheath there will be destruction and there will be again uh, formation of the myelin sheath so as you can see here uh, onion bluff bulb formation due to repeated demyelination and myelination with proliferation of swan cells so these cells are important for the myelination of the uh, a particular nerve so the as we can see here you can see these onion bulbs like appearances so these are mainly due to demyelination and remyelination of the uh, surrounding myelinated ex exons so they uh, they may be seen with inherited demyelinating uh, polyneuropathies or maybe some chronic acquired demyelinating neuropathy such as chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy which i have already told you so this is the another type of uh, uh, disease in which you might find this onion bulb type of formation now we will move towards the another disease which is sle and it is also known as lupus so what is basically sle it is an autoimmune disorder in which uh, our own antibodies uh, used to f uh, they usually forms uh, antibodies that will harm our own body so the antibodies are formed uh, to nuclear or cytoplasmic antigens which can then further involve the multi-system involvement might be there so it will uh, lead to a, a relapsing and remitting course again and again it will be happening so there is no cure for SLE so in SLE patients you can see onion skin lesions in the spleen so in the spleen itself when you will see it under microscope you can find these type of onion skin skin lesions as you can see here so this is the uh, typical finding in case of sle patients now we will move towards the next disease that is primary sclerosing cholangitis so what basically is this disease primary sclerosing cholangitis uh, it is a chronic uh, you can say cholestatic liver disease which is characterized by uh, inflammation and fibrosis of the bile duct so due to this uh, you can say long term inflammation and the fibrosis of the bile duct it will lead to end stage liver disease and that usually leads to this type of 
यू कैन से फाइब्रोसिस अराउंड द एट्रोफिक डक्ट ल्यूमन इन केस ऑफ प्राइमरी स्क्लेरोसिंग कोलेंजाइटिस सो ओनियन स्किन फाइब्रोसिस अराउंड एट्रोपिक डक्ट ल्यूमन कैन बी सीन इन प्राइमरी स्क्लेरोसिंग कोलेंजाइटिस एज यू कैन सी दिस डाइग्राम हेयर क्लियरली सो दिस इज द अनदर डिजीज दैट हैव ओनियन लाइक अपियरेंस नाउ द नेक्स्ट एंड द लास्ट डिजीज इज लेप्रोसी सो इन केस ऑफ लेप्रोसी as we already know leprosy is also known as hansen disease and it is a uh, long term infection at it also uh, follows a chronic course and it is caused by uh, mycobacterium leprae in most of the cases and it uh, basically it mainly damage the nerves and the respiratory tract so due to the damage of the nerves in case of uh, when nerves are involved in leprosy and that might lead to the fibrosis in all those nerves and uh, due to that fibrosis there might be onion skin appearance due to perineural fibrosis that are basically seen in leprosy so this onion skin appearance or you can see this type of structure you can see in, in case of leprosy patient so i have told you about leprosy uh, onion skin appearance due to perineural fibrosis and i have told you about primary sclerosing cholangitis in which uh, fibrosis around the atrophic duct lumen will lead to the formation of the onion skin uh, lesions and i have told you about the systemic lupus erythematous disease that is also known as lupus in which in case of spleen if you will see it under microscope by taking a biopsy or a smear then you can see onion skin lesions in the spleen and i have told you about chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy in which the demyelination and myelination of the uh, you can say nerve uh, or myelinated axons or which leads to the proliferation of swan cell will form these type of onion bulb formation so and i have told you about hyperplastic or malignant arteriolitis in which onion skin lesions are seen as you can see here and i have told you about aving sarcoma in which there is this uh, onion peel reaction and soft tissue extension might lead to onion skin pattern in the x ray findings so this is all about all the important onions in pathology i hope uh, you memorize all these because in the examination uh, the examiner used to ask from each one of them thank you very much